last year, I decided to paint seven portraits of men who have spent all or most of their working lives in Pitamoon. Pitamoon is a small fishing town on the east coast of Scotland and it's very, very picturesque. Their work and the social and cultural contribution to the town has been vital. And as I painted them, I was entertained by a fund of anecdote and history and I've enjoyed the project tremendously. It's been wonderful. So I, I grew up there during the war in Norfolk and uh, after the war in 1945 at Norwich School and enjoyed a lot of my recreation on the Norfolk Broads and this led me to go into the Navy in 1955 until eventually I ended up in Pitt and Wing having left the Navy in 61 to do Divinity and then came to Pittenweem from Jamaica, which was our first charge. So now uh, we've been in Pittenweem until I retired for 32 years. And uh, it's just such an agreeable part of the world, isn't it? I'm Ken Adamson. I was born in Pittenweem. I'm a third generation of bakers. My grandmother and her brother John started the bakery in 1887. Myself, I've been a baker for 50 years. I'm Alistair Kennedy. I came to Pitten Weem in 1958 as a family doctor for Pitten Weem and the surrounding area and retired from full time practice in 1991. When I was at school, Pittenweem, up to the time I was 14, I was not very good at lessons because I was a late developer. And I went to Cairn Ryan. My father got a job down there for me in Cairn Ryan. And I went on a fire boat. And I was a skipper, Reggie Scorer. John Ben was the able seaman, David Jenkins was the chief engineer and myself. And David Jenkins took me in hand and he learned me in the two years I was there more than I learned all the time I was at the school. And it was long nights at the Cairn Ryan, dark on the nights, and there were, none of, there were no wireless aboard the boat or television at that time, so all we did was he used to learn me all about the engine. And how the pistons worked and the valves and how it fired and it was a great and actually when he went on leave I I I done the engine side of it. Started off by two four V8s in the hull with tangy pumps for the firemen and I used to start the four V8s up and work with the, the pumps and we had a telegraph from the fuel house to the engine room and the skipper used to See, right belt of red start engine used to go down to the lighter reach when they were loading uh, detonators onto the barges to dump, just in case any of them blew up. And uh, it was a good experience. And I owe a lot to David Jenkins. And actually, the rest of the crew, the skipper, registrar, and John Bennett, all was off a to me. My name is John Bowman. I was born and brought up in the town of Pitmoon. Now, if John Bowman is a man of few words, he's certainly a man of action. 
He's taken over this house and he's transformed it. And he's worked in the garden and transformed it. Not quite finished yet. It'll be wonderful. I'm John Cunningham. I've a teacher at the Weed Academy. I started teaching 30 years ago uh, when I moved to Pitt and Weed when I married Heather. I was born in Anstruther, uh, spent all my youth in Anstruther, went to West Anstruther Primary School. Uh, I did actually write on slate. The slate to scratch away. That's a horrible noise. And somebody would wipe your slate clean. And I feel that expression is really quite depressing. You're busy doing all your work, and then suddenly somebody leans across with a cloth and goes, That's where your work gone. It's almost as bad as your computer crashing. There it is. <laughs> Next to the primary school, that was another thing which has disappeared from this area, <coughs> was the cleat factory where they made the heads for the golf clubs and that, the little forges you could hear the whole time pounding away as the guys forged out the heads of the, the golf clubs there was always this puffing of smoke and steam from the forges next to the primary school the certain noises, that clink of the handles etc I can remember these little things There were six of us in my family I have three sisters and two brothers um, and I never forget when the first day we moved to Ely um, I spotted when we came out of the, the furniture van I spotted the lighthouse and I had never seen the, the seaside never I, I had read about it in books but I had never actually seen the seaside and I took off across the fields to Ely lighthouse and I never forget the that magical moment of looking at the sea and, and standing, dodging the waves and on the sand. It was something I'll never forget. And the teacher said one day, now I want you all to write an essay. So I wrote an essay about uh, this lad who came from the countryside to the seaside and uh, how wonderful the, the sea and everything was for him. And I really was just writing down my own experience and I got the first prize for my essay. So 1969 would be the next turning point I think in my life. Um, I decided to uh, start up in business uh, for myself. So uh, we didn't have very much money but uh, we had a nice little car which raised about £300 I think. So that was my capital for starting up in business. And I had really just thought that I might just work myself um, with an apprentice. But uh, I wasn't very long started up in business when I had to take on another man and an apprentice and another man. And I think at one point in time we had almost, I think it was 22 men working for us.